And so did the alarm on the car. That's so odd. What's this? Hello, everybody. Hello, TikTok people. Nobody's here yet. Nobody's here? Okay. But I won't worry about it. Oh, the ad. Oh, we do not want that. <laughs> okay, let me get in position. Oh, look, the graphics. I love the graphics. No thanks. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Do I have my baby water? Where's my baby water? There it is. Oh, there we go. Get in position. Oh, oh, I can see myself. This light is very hot. It's very hot. I'm going to turn this. Podium is a lot of crap on it. A lot of crap on it. Hello, everybody. Wow, we're here live. We're on the uh, we're on the TikTok, uh, on the tickety talk, and we're on the YT. The YT. Hello, everybody. Hello, people. My uh, hundred and three thousand people on uh, YT, and my six million on the tickety talk. This is my. Weekly this is my weekly press conference. Uh, before I do that, I want to thank uh, everybody watching on the Tickety Talk, but especially on the YT, on the YT. I want to thank all of my members. And, and, and Cass, we have two new members. Uh, yeah, right up on the, on the list for you, Mr. Right at the top of the list. We just joined today. Today. This is absolutely fantastic. We've got Kitty Witty just joined today. Thank you, Kitty Witty. Thank you, Kitty Witty. And we have not Vladimir Putin. This is not Vladimir Putin, my good friend, Vladdy. This is someone else who's not Vladdy. This is not Vladimir Putin. Thank you to both of those who joined today. I think they're both silver, if I'm correct. Is that right? Is that right? They're I both silver? So, sir, I yes. think so. And then we have Silk Shrouder. Silk Shrouder, another uh, member. We've got Bobex. Bobex, I think my members have the best name. Of course, we have um, we have Ash for the blonde. Oh, what is it? What was that one? Ash R P blonde. Ash R P blonde. Thank you. You've been a member for one month. We've got Gerard Smith B V B V. Another one monther. Thank you so much. We've got D Swing Morel. D Swing's been around for a long time. Became a member two months ago, which I think is great. Fofi Fofi. Another two monther. Uh, we've got Sat. Serve, who always leaves funny comments, too. I love the set serve comments. In fact, I love all the comments from all of my wonderful members. We've got Osprey D, 40, two months. We've got Raul Duke, three months. This is a three-month club we're in now. We've got Listener, and I always say Listener has the, has the, best, has the best name, the best handle, because I like people who listen. I like people who listen. I'm a listener. I'm a, if it's interesting, I'm a listener. Steve Arusos. Three months. I know I'm killing his name. I realize that. Of course, Lisa Mitchell, who was so generous last week. She gave me over $1 million. So much. I'm going to fly her in from West Virginia to be here in the press the press room. The press room. Uh, one with the universe, three months. And Falco. We love, love, love the Falco. There's a lot of news. Uh, I've been in court a lot. Uh, I said my piece. I did the closing argument in New York and the judge. The Judge Angeron, he's very angry. He's very angry. He looks like Larry David from Curb Your Enthusiasm. It was, it was not good. It was not good. He cut me off. He's a horrible, horrible person. Hates Trump. Hates Trump. He hates me. He absolutely hates me. Do we want to jump in on a on a question, or do we uh, have time? And I could go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lisa Mitchell actually just donated five dollars. Lisa Mitchell. It, now it's one million. Five dollars. That's that's the incredible Lisa Mitchell. She's so wonderful. I so appreciate her support. Maybe she could be an assistant to Elena Haba. Elena Haba. I call her Haba Daba Do. Haba Daba Do. She's a great, great person. And Lisa's a great person. And for those of you who maybe this is your first time Thanks watching my chat. fifteenth press conference on Fridays at the same time, make sure you hit the subscribe button. You've got to subscribe. Go ahead. Go ahead. So Lisa Mitchell's donation came with a question, and she asked, Mr. President, what is your favorite Broadway show tune? Well, you know what? I that's, you pop, People don't know this, but I love Broadway show tunes. Uh, I grew, grew up listening to them in my house in Queens, and I love the classics. I love the classics. I love West Side Story. I love South Pacific. You know what I love from South Pacific? Uh, you may meet a stranger. Some Enchanted Evening is the name of the song. Some Enchanted. 
good evening. You may meet a stranger. You may meet a stranger. And something like that. It's almost like how I met Melania. Who is Melania here, by the way? Is she, she's still not here. We're still looking for Melania. We will get her eventually on the weekly press conference. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Down in front. Go ahead. Um, another donation for your legal fund from not Vladimir Putin, who is a new member for $5. Thank you, Vladdy. Can I call you Vladdy? Because it's almost like I'm talking to the other Vladimir Putin, but you're not Vladimir Putin, so you're not Vladdy or you're not Pooty. That's the other name I call Pooty. We, You know what? We call each other every morning. Like, what are you wearing today? And I say, I'm wearing the blue suit with the red tie. Like, what are you wearing? He goes, I'm wearing the gray suit with the gray tie. Thanks for the he's super very, He's very predictable. But then again, so am I. A lot a lot of world dictators are very predictable. Kim Jong Un, who's written me some beautiful letters, always wears the same I outfit. I love subscribers. Uh, and the question from Vladdy was, if I help you win again in 2024, can I have the Ukraine? Yes, absolutely. There's it, it's a it's a it's a loser country in the sense that it's just not it's, it's decimated. We don't want it. We don't want it. We poured a lot of money into that. So, Vlad, for you, you get Ukraine. It's kind of like Monopoly. It's kind of like Monopoly. Down in front over here. We have a question from the Tickety Talk. From the Tickety Talk. From Masterclass. Master. Oh, I like that name, Masterclass. What are your thoughts on Epstein? Uh, one of my thoughts is, you know, I think it's a terrible, terrible situation with Epstein. And uh, I think a lot of people are concerned about it. But I would like to say one thing. No one has ever complained about his financial acumen. He made a lot of people a lot of money. So in that area, he did very well. He did very well. So other than that, I don't want to comment. Uh, other than to say Bill Clinton rode on his plane a lot, a lot. But I don't want to get into that because I don't want to get flagged. I don't want to get flagged. But he did do very well with people's money, I have to say. Go ahead. Uh, Lisa Mitchell wants to know, was my $1 million con uh, contributes tax deductible? Oh, absolutely, because it went to my legal fund, which is a 501c. Uh, actually, most of it went to Alina Haba. She loves, like, the coach bags and the Prada bags and the Prada shoes. What's the shoes with the red on the bottom? Balonics. Balonic, she loves the Balonics. She loves the Balonic. Victor Balonic, is that it? Someone tell me those shoes with the red bottom. I think they're Louis Vuittons. They're Louis Vuittons? I oh, I thought so. they're Balonic. I like that name, Balonic. Do you know, is it Balonic? It's something else, right? <laughs> Philonic. There's a lot of, you know what? I, I know I know high fashion, but and, and Alina looks very good. I would compliment Melania, but I never see her over here. Uh, a couple more donations for you, sir. More um, money? Oh, I love these people. I the, love Fridays. The regular donation from Relax Bad Knee Adventure, 249 in Euros. Oh, I love the European money. I love the European money. From the Netherlands. Oh, I love the Netherlands. I love the, the windmills. Chat. I love the wooden shoes. I love the tulips. Uh, they eat sardines over there. Isn't that like the number one food, sardines, in the, the Netherlands? Thanks for uh, and how many, chat. I've always wanted to ask this, how many lands are there in the Netherlands? Is there like 15, 25? Is it like, isn't that where Peter Pan went? Is that the Netherlands? Was that it? Who, who knows? Go ahead. Um, and another donation from AU79 for $5. Wow, $5. That's fantastic. It like, reminds me of Subway, but not Jared, but the Subway, you know, five, the $5 <laughs> foot long. I always thought that was great. Thank you so much. What was the name again? AU79. 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 Thank you asked, so much. Oh. What? Oops, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go uh, ahead. They asked, what's one of your favorite Bible verses? Oh, one of my favorite Bible verses. There's so many. There's so many good good ones. Like Corinthian leather, 75. <laughs> that's a good one. Um, uh, John, uh, three numbers. <laughs> and that's a good one. Um, two guys, Corinthians. That's a good one, too. There's so many wonderful, wonderful Bible verses. And I know, I know the Bible. I know the Bible. No one knows the Bible that like I know the Bible. I, I know the Bible so well. I call it the Bible. I call it the Bible. It's very personal to me, the Bible. So I wouldn't want to give a quote because then people will say, "Oh, he likes this one and he doesn't like this one." I love the entire Bible. Back to front. I wish it had some photos. Uh, we make it a lot easier to read. Thanks for the uh, super But we have a chat. big family Bible at home that we keep in a glass case, and uh, sometimes I look at it. It's true. Go over here to the tickety tock. Uh, Josh Van Meter. 
Man Meter or Man Eater? Van Meter. Oh, Van Meter. That's a great name. That's a famous name, the Van Meter family. What's your thoughts on the three wars since Biden took office? The three wars since Biden is such a mess. And I think we all know he's just walking around the way. Oh, oh, where am I? Where am I, man? Oh, come on, Shesh Barilla. I got hair on my legs, man. Hey, somebody ate my Oreo cookies, Jack. Listen, this is why everything's falling apart. He's so old. Biden is so old, they discontinued his blood type. But they got plenty of my blood. And I'm going to be out there campaigning. And you know where he's going to be? Members he's going to be in the basement somewhere, the which he was last time. I don't know how he won, but I do, because it was a rigged election. Go ahead at it. Uh, your live has proven to be very fruitful, Mr. President. Um, you got another donation from listener for ten dollars. Oh, thank you, listener. You're the best. We and gotta get give them something. Listener asked, after you lose the election in your two hundred and eighty three trials, are you going to become a Broadway singer? Well, I would love to become a Broadway. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but if you've read any of the biographies about me, and there's so many, well, at one point I wanted to become an actor. And I think I would have been a tremendous leading man on Broadway or in the movies because you probably saw me in Home Alone, Home Alone 2. I, I was love fantastic. I was actually really good. I was in a Woody Allen movie. I was a, I've been in a lot of videos. I've done a really amazing job. And in Home Alone 2, if I hadn't given Macaulay Culkin uh, <laughs> the directions to get to the thing, you know, to sign into the room, by the way, they cleaned me out on that movie. Uh, but that, that movie's made over $2 million, and mainly because of me in that scene. And now Christopher Columbus, what, is this his real name? I mean, honestly, now they want to cut my scene out. It's uh, down in front. Uh, Kid Combat has... Kid Combat, up. that's a great name. Kid Combat. I like that. Kid Combat, I like that. That's good. Kids uh, in Combat. He has become a member, Mr. President. Just now? Yes, he joined Gold Groupies. Thanks oh, for the super kid, chat. Kid Combat, thank you so much. You've made me very, very happy. This goes right to the Legal Defense Fund, right to Alina Haba or any of the 57 other attorneys that I have. I really appreciate that. It's not for me. I don't need it. I'm rich. I'm really, really rich. I have so much money. Believe me. Believe me. It goes to my Legal Defense Fund. Lisa Mitchell donated another five. And said, I think the shoes you mean are Melania Blonix. Melania Blonix. Mel is it Melania Blonix? Is that what it's That's called? That's what Lisa Mitchell said. Lisa I Mitchell, thank you for the five and thank you for the, the word, the Blonix. Blonix. I like Blonix. I like that name. It's a great name. Over here on this side of the tickety talk. Eric Fields says, Biden offered me a stick of gum for my vote. What will you offer me? Oh, well, I could do much better than that. We have we have Trump water, the wettest water in the entire world. It's very refreshing. Come to Las Vegas. We well, actually any of my hotels. Hold on one second. I'm going to offer you a bottle of Trump water. It's the greatest water the wettest water, and we have a no evaporation policy on all the Trump waters. I think that is a stick of gum. Who cares? But water is refreshing, and it, it hydrates you. You know what I mean? And what does hydration equal? Concentration. Hydration equals concentration. You see that? I'm a stable genius. I came right up with that. Over here. Another donation Thanks to your legal chat. fund. Wow, well, thank you. United We Stand. United We point. Stand. That, that's how I feel. United We Stand. By the way, I forgot to hug the flags today. I just want to hug this flag. Members mm. are And this flag is a great flag because this is a very self-confident. This one, very insecure. Because if I hug this one, I have to hug this one. Mm. And it likes when I play with the tassels. Oh. There we go. Play with the tassels. <laughs> play with the tassels. There we go. Now that one. Now this one. i got to play with the tassels on this one, too, just to make it equal. There we go. We're all set. I've kissed the flags. I've thanked the person who gave me. Thank you so much. I love all the new members. And I love money. I love money. Me and money are like BFFs, and honestly. I mean, I see Ben Franklin. I get a little bit of it. You know what? But I'm not going to say it because I don't want to get thrown off either one of the platforms. Go ahead. A few more announcements for you, Mr. President. Thank you. So United We Stand, I want to mention he did give you $2 and said, sir, sir, you did nothing wrong, sir. I, I have been saying that. I am an innocent man. We actually named this particular press conference, I am an innocent man. And if Billy Joel sues me, I'm going to sue him back because I actually am an innocent man. Because Billy Joel sings a song, I am an innocent man. <laughs> but I am an innocent innocent man. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. Even though I've been involved in close to 4,000 legal cases, I'm innocent every single time. Go right ahead. 
Uh, CSM 9105 has become a that member. Oh, CSN? CS, CS, CSM. 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 I like that. It's just, I, I wonder what that's an acronym for. Thank you so much for becoming a member. And that's one fantastic. more donation to your legal fund from AU79, $5, and ask, do you regret becoming president? No, I do not. Be, I do not regret making America great again. And this time I'm going to make America great again, again. It'll be mega, ga, ga, ga. So it's going to be <laughs> fantastic. Uh, we're going to make this country better. And I could have stayed, listen, I could have stayed in New York and I could have stayed, uh, uh, you know, making a lot of money, but I want to help this country. I don't want to help myself. I, I don't want side um, deals. I don't want $8 million dollars from China. They gave it to me. I didn't want it. You know what I mean? I own hotels. I own hotels and people stay in hotels. And the room service at my hotels is very expensive. Very expensive. I make money the old fashioned way. Go right ahead. We have a question here on Tickety Talk. On the Tickety Talk by six million people on the Tickety Talk. Aldon Persona. Aldon Persona. I like that. Aldon Persona. Go ahead. Oh, um, I just lost it. Um, go. Is it true that Melania has you on a diet? Uh, well, we, you know, she wanted me to take the Ozempic, the Ozempic, but I said, no, 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 I don't need that. I can lose weight on my own. So instead of cheeseburgers and, uh, you know, the, the club sandwiches here at, uh, at the uh, Mar-a-Lago, which by the way, the greatest club sandwich in the history of club sandwiches is at my club. Is that incredible? And my cheeseburgers. She just wants me to cut down on the french fries and the potato chips and the cheesecake and the chocolate cake. I'll see what I can do. I love the chocolate cake. It's a beautiful cake. It's a beautiful cake. Believe me, you've never seen a cake like the cake here at mar lago There we go, over here. At the yeah, Tiffany Leo Club. Pooh's brother. Leo Pooh's brother? That's a, okay. We have can his I brother. Order? Can I order room service McDonald's at your hotel? You know what? That's so funny you said that we've actually been considering that at Mar-a-Lago because I talk. Listen, I, McDonald's should be sending me money. I've said so many wonderful things about McDonald's. I will say the burgers are getting a little thin, a little thin. But we had we had McDonald's at the White House when I was president. You know why? America loves McDonald's and they love Domino's, Pizza Hut, Wendy's. I'm not so sure about the Burger King. We'll have to, we'll have to do a poll. We'll have to do a poll about the Burger King. Go right ahead, down in front. Another donation to your legal fund from Listener for $10. Listener, this is incredible. What do I always say? Yeah, let's give a round of applause. Thank you so much, Listener. I always say Listener is the best name because it listens. It listens. That would be great. Does Listener have a question? Uh, yes. In court, if you are told to raise your hand and swear to tell the truth, are people able to see your tiny hand to know you're raising it? Excuse me. Excuse me. When I raised my hand in court, when I raised my hand in court, everyone was able to see it because everyone goes, oh, he has tiny hands. He's tiny. There's my hand. Here's my hand. There's the tiny hand. Okay. I have huge hands. I have enormous. Look at this can of regular size soda. Look at this. My entire hand can wrap around this entire soda. You know what they say? Big hands, big gloves. All right. And by the way, by the way, no complaints down there. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. It's true. Beautiful. Over here to the tickety talk. Uh, Jade Ken. Jade Ken. Okay. Jaded Ken. Oh, Jaded Ken. Oh, is that like Ken. from Barbie? Maybe. Is that like from Barbie? Jaded Ken. Maybe. I'm just Ken. Da, 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 da. I like that song. So there's a trend on the Tickety Talk. Mm. It's it's called I Think I Like This Little Life. They would like you to say that. You have to say, I think I like this little life. I think I like this little life. You have to jump the eye a little bit. Like, I think I like this little life. Mm -hmm. I think I like this little life. Pretty good. Beautiful. Okay, Pretty good thank you. Trump. Thank you, my Pretty six good. million people on the Tickety Talk. I appreciate that. And my 103,000 here on uh, YT and all of my new subscribe, not new subscribers and Thanks new members. Super I really, really appreciate that. You know, they, and they say I have cognitive De deficiencies, cognitive decline. How, could I be able to do one hour I of answering these the tremendous questions for my wonderful people? Wonderful people. Go ahead. Question from Paul S. Paul who S. Makes, who makes the bed in the morning, Mr. President, you or Mr. Putin? 
Uh, well, he's very militaristic. He's the one who makes the bed, from what I understand. At, at Mar-a-Lago, I have Consuela come in, uh, or uh, Esmeralda. Either one of those come in and make the bed, because I trust them. And they're here legally. They're here legally. Yeah, I just don't want all these people. By the way, it's a caravan. It's a caravan that's coming. Go right ahead from the We have a top. very important question from I love important Stephen questions. Nemeth, 70. Stephen Nemeth, 70. What are your thoughts on Taylor and Travis? Well, you know, a lot of people think this is a PSYOP by the CIA to distract from the uh, election, which I'm going to win, uh, by the way. But, you know, people hate on Taylor. I like Taylor. She works very, very hard. I don't like the fact that she's a Democrat and she wants people to s vote for sleepy Joe Biden who's walking around in circles at the White House. And uh, who, who's she dating again? Kelsey? Kelsey Grammer? Travis. Travis Grammer. Travis Grammer. Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. She's dating Travis Kelsey, who seems like a wonderful guy. I saw him on SNL, which I don't watch. I and he did a pretty good job. So I think that's wonderful. So overall, I think the whole thing is a CIA setup. Go ahead. Donation from Jack Norm, 279 in Canadian. Dollars. Thank you, Jack Norm. Canadian, that means that's a lot more money, right? Right? It's like a dollar fifty. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I like that. I like when it's more than it actually looks like. That's what I love about exchange rates. Go ahead. And I'll read this exactly how it is. Sir, 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 are you going invaded Canada? Well, listen, listen, you know, this comes up a lot. Um, I love the Canadian people and I love Canada. It's almost like another country up there. It's amazing. But what are Canadians? What are Canadians? They're just unarmed American. Americans Thanks with a crappy health care system. We're going to bring you in and there won't be a queen on or a king on your money. There'll be me because that's what we're going to do. When I'm back in office, I'm going to be on all the money. It's going to be fantastic. Go right ahead. Gwen on the Tickety Talk wants to know, how do you feel about pineapple on your pizza? I don't, I don't, I would use a word, but I get in trouble for it. But pineapple on a pizza is very, um, it is very, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. And I know that people say you have to eat pineapple because it's good for, you know, healing. I don't like fruit. I don't like fruit. I don't like vegetables. I like pizza as pizza. But I do like to eat pizza with a fork and, sp a fork and knife. And people give me a hard time about that. Oh, he's so dainty. I'm not dainty. I just don't want to get it on my silk tie or my jacket or my coat down in front. A couple of announcements for you, sir. You do have concurrently a thousand viewers on YouTube, which I think is our highest. That's our highest. That's Give awesome. yourselves a hand, everybody. One thousand concurrent viewers and 2, on YT, over here. and two thousand of the six million on my tickety talk. So this is a this is a good day. This is a good day. Ask me anything you want. I'm in a good mood because I won in court. Go ahead. You got a donation from Branch Archer for four ninety nine. Branch Archer, I like that name. Sounds like a spy. Branch Archer. I Branch love Archer asked, "Sir, sir, sir, does Barron's DNA paternity test prove that your penthouse is thirty thousand square feet?" Uh, it's it's, it's, it's thirty three thousand square feet. It's a triplex. Uh, we did make a tiny mistake, and I admitted that in court. We made a little teeny tiny mistake. I love That's all because the measuring tape. Uh, ran out. So we had to do one of those things where you're like, one foot, two foot, three foot, and somebody, and I have big feet. I mean, I have big feet and I have big hands. I have big other parts too. And there's no complaints, but we made a little, little boo-boo. We made a little boo-boo. Go ahead. Another donation to your legal fund, $10 from Buddy Hembry. Buddy, thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate that. Buddy Hembry said, sir, what court case are you going to appear next? And will you give closing argument? You're such an orator. Your name should be a signature on the Constitution. I oh, I love this guy. I love this guy. My next court case, I feel like I'm doing shows around the country. So I just wrapped up with Judge Angeron, and they're going to destroy me. They're going to, they're horrible people. They hate me. Uh, the next case is for the woman who I allegedly uh, assaulted at Bergdorf Goodman uh, 20, 30, 40 years ago. I don't, I don't know who this woman is. I don't know who this woman is, but I'll be in court for her. They're going to try to get more money out of me because that's what this is about. It's called election interference and bankrupt to me. It's sad. It's really, really sad. Tickety talk. Go right ahead. Edric Wong wants to know, what do you think about Kanye for president? Well, you know, Kanye up to a couple of years ago, I think he would have been a fine president, but now he's a little wacky. 
He's a little wacky. And is it just me, or does his new girlfriend look like Tommy Davidson? You know what I mean? Very well endowed, but looks like Tommy <laughs> Davidson. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. But, you know, he's kind of, he's on the off ramp right now. But I, I, I wish him well. I wish Kanye well. He's under a lot of stress. Listen, I've been divorced multiple times. It's very stressful. It's very stressful. Go ahead. Question from Space Pirate. Oh, we love the Space Pirate. Been with me a very long time. Thank you, Space Pirate. What's your question? Uh, they asked, sir, sir, President Trump, sir, is the youth section here, do you feel threatened by someone younger possibly usurping, usurping you? Well, listen, no one's going to usurp me. Chat. And it doesn't matter. If you can have somebody 25, like, I know what they're talking about. They're talking about Vivek Wamaswamy. Wamaswamy. But listen, I'm the youngest person I in this race by a factor of 10. I'm a young guy. I'm a young guy. I have young ideas. I have uh, young clothes. I have a young look. Uh, people, at mar lago all the young 20-somethings, the beautiful women, and beautiful women love it. They're all trying to kiss me. They're all trying to kiss me. I'm a young guy at heart. Uh, Biden, old. Biden, very old. Go right ahead. Uh, donation from Lakshmi LFG for $5. Wow, thank you, Lakshmi. And I like that name, I have to admit. Lakshmi. Do Lakshmi, we have a question? Lakshmi, yes. Ask, sir, 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 can you build a wall on North? And make Canada pay for it, we need to stop all that illegal cold wind. Yes, well, this is, you know, I think people, more and more of these press conferences, people are asking about Canada. I think a wall between the United States and Canada, or we just make Canada part of America and start selling guns and vaping and all that stuff and make some money on the Canadian people who get it really easy. I mean, most of them don't work and they're all socialists and we gotta get them to become capitalists. And I know a lot of actors leave Canada and come down, Captain Kirk, Mr. Spot. Oh, I just got a hat, hold on. Thank you, Tickety Talk. Uh, for those of you on the I YT, what, what's happening on Tickety Talk is I get a cowboy hat and a mustache. I and love I, subscribers. No, no, I'm doing that. Uh, but I got a cowboy hat. I love cowboy hats. I love cowboy hats. Next question. Another donation from listener for $10. Thank you, Thank listener. You listener. You're the best. Listener asked, I'm captivated by your hair. How long does it take you to put your hair on each day? And do you ever store things in it like bottles of water or fake ballots? Well, sometimes <laughs> I'll put something in the back. Uh, I haven't thought about ballots. That's a fantastic idea. A bottle of water would be good. You know those hats that have the water on the side? It takes me about an hour. I do have to admit my hair is looking a little rough. A little rough. I have too much product. People with very fine baby hair like Thanks mine, I gotta put a lot of chat. product in it. It's getting a little heavy. Getting a little. You know what that means? I gotta call my hair person, and she's gotta come here and take my hair, and then wash it and style it and bring it back Thanks to me. For so the you won't see me chat. for a day or two while she does that. Over here in the front. Question from Abby One. Sir, Abby One. Sir, Abby sir, one. sir, 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 sir. Which products would you like to endorse or promote? Oh, there's so many things. I I got a wonderful gift. Uh, from these people at Factory. I got this wonderful gift from Factory. Uh, it's me in prison, which by the way, will not happen, but I thought it was very funny. Uh, there I am in the orange suit that all the left-wing, liberal, conservative, communist, fascistic fish sticks want to see me in. Well, guess what? That's the only one you're going to see me in. It has a little bob wi barbed wire thing, so I get, gets a little extra light on my head. Has my name right there. Has the prison tower. Uh, I think you can find this online. We should call them about getting an affiliate link for I this. Think, yes. That would be very, very smart. Uh, uh, I always, I love the Diet Coke. Did you know I had a button in the White House on the, on the presidential desk? I would press the button, this little red button, go, See that? And then this would pop right up. Pop right up. It was fantastic. But we got our little we got our little guy. There's so many wonderful products. So many all the Trump hotels. I always say if it's not a Trump hotel, it's a dump hotel. I always do. You can stay wherever you like, but you'll be very disappointed if you don't stay at a Trump hotel. Go right ahead. Question from Mr. Peter. Mr. Peter. Mr. Peter. The US looks more and more like Russia. Will you, Mr. President, continue that trend? Well, I, I, I don't, I, I've only been to Moscow a couple of times and there was no one, there were no golden showers. I know what you're thinking when, you, when I said that. Uh, Russia, parts of Russia are absolutely beautiful. Uh, Chernobyl, 
Not so much. Not so much. But uh, it's just, parts of it are very beautiful, and parts of it are very, very boring. Let me tell you something. St. Petersburg, Florida. St. Petersburg, Russia. Two different places. So I hope that answers your question. I love Go right ahead. Oh, and if you're watching right now, hit that subscribe button. We are going to 150,000 new subscribers right now. We have 103,000. Hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you know when a new video comes out, a new short comes out, and about our weekly live. And if you're watching on the Tickety Talk, go up to the link up above in my bio and hit YT and become a subscriber. The more subscribers we have, the better, just like on the Tickety Talk. So we've got questions on both sides right now. Go right ahead. They could also follow us. If they they're not following oh, us. Oh, if you're not following us on the Tickety Talk, we want you following us. We've got new content coming out all the time. Very funny. Very funny stuff. Go ahead over here. Question from Dick Dastardly. Dick Dastardly. I remember him from the 1940s. He was a great <laughs> actor. Uh, they asked, where does Melania sleep? Well, that's a great question. If anyone knows the answer to that, I'd appreciate it. Uh, we're looking for her. I always walk around Mar-a-Lago singing, hey, did you happen to see the most beautiful Slovenian girl in the world? And if you did, was she crying? That song is for the older people. If you're below 50, you probably have no idea what the hell I'm talking I about. Love but it was a great song. But we're looking for Melania. Unfortunately, her mom passed away this week, which is very sad. Very sad. But hopefully, now that her mom is uh, over, is in heaven, I would assume, uh, that she will be back here a lot more, a lot more. And that's all we can hope for. We're sending ho uh, thoughts and prayers to her mom, uh, to, to her. Go ahead. Question from Tyrell Adams. Sir, 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 thoughts on Chris Christie dropping out? Oh, finally. Let me tell you something. I'm all prepared for the Chris Christie question. Uh, Chris Christie has dropped out of the race like a sack of potatoes sack of potatoes he gave some lame excuse i watched the press conference he said he was dropping out so he could spend more time with his refrigerator this guy is the worst he's absolutely the worst he, you know he said he was running against me the guy's the hindenburg he was waddling waddling against me you know he running really chris the only thing you run for is another steak on the grill it's so sad Chris Christie's got more chins than a Chinese phone book. It's unbelievable. His A1C is WTF. Chris Christie's spleen is made out of salami. All right? You get the point, folks. He shouldn't have been in the race in the first place. He said very, very mean things about me. And by the way, Chris, you are so big. When you look down, you can't even see your little Chris Christie. Matter of fact, we should change your name to Chris Krispy Kreme, because you eat so many donuts. It's really, really sad. So I hope I answered your question about Chris Christie dropping out like a thud. What was he pulling at? Negative numbers? Negative numbers. It was sad. Oh, and by the way, I took a photo with Chris Christie two years ago. It's still printing. It's still printing. That's how big he is. All right, next question. Donation from CSM9105. CSM. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. How much was it? For $5. It is the first super on a live stream. Oh. Thank you, CSM. Thank you thank so you. much. The first super. I appreciate that. We, See, we love that. The press. The press. The, the, the biased left-wing fake news press even loves that. Hold on. I got to have another drink. Hold on. I've been talking for a while. While you're taking a sip, sir, I'll read his comment. I thought you were a frequent flyer on Epstein's Airlines. That's a bunch of lies. I only went seven times. Bill Clinton went like 25, okay? And just because there's 67 photos of me and him together over a 25-year period, I barely knew the guy. I barely knew the guy. I mean, sure, he's my next-door neighbor, but I barely knew the guy. I mean, do you know your neighbor? Most people don't know their neighbors. He came over one time for a party like a weirdo, dressed in, I'm in a suit and tie dancing. You know, white man's uh, overbite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He comes in all weird, really 
chilled the vibe, and not in a good way either. Comes in a denim shirt and jeans, you know what I mean? And the only reason I was on the plane, I was hopping a ride somewhere. That was all. I didn't go to that place everyone talks about. No way, that wasn't me. Uh, that's not true. Next question, please. Question from Baron Corvo. Sir, 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 can you talk us through your record in the Vietnam War? I heard you went undercover as Agent Orange. Agent Orange. Well, you know what? I really wanted to fight in the war, but I have these horrible, horrible bone spurs that flared up every time I got the induction notice. And uh, my father was able to talk to some people, medical people, medical people, and then the bone spurs went away, and then an induction notice would come, and they would flare up again. So uh, I was able to not serve our country that way, but when I was in military high school, I went to a military high school, the toughest military, that was very much like Vietnam, because some days we didn't even get our dessert. So it was very, very similar to Vietnam. Go ahead. Next Couple question. announcements, sir. Um, mm. You're at 1,400 concurrent viewers wow. on YouTube. We're up that's to like 10,000 views right now. Wow, that's great. like a record. Thank you, everybody on the YT and everybody on the Tickety Talk. This has been a great day. Almost to 350 likes. Mm. We're killing it, as they say, in the uh, in the uh, in the in the universe of social media. And Thanks you got a donation from chat. listener for another ten dollars. Listener, listener, oh my goodness, you're gonna have to come live with me at Mar a Lago. You're giving me all your money. I appreciate it. <laughs> listener said, "Sir, are you afraid to attend the Republican debates? Why not attend and show how much better you are than the other candidates?" I did something better than attending the stupid debates between Ron DeBackstabber and Nikki Haley, which, by the way isn't even her name. She wasn't even born here in the U.S. Her name is like Tafit Mamadami or something like that. It's very sad. And by the way, I love the Indian people. Great people. Fantastic people. But Nikki Haley was not born in this country. I'm pulling that right out of the Trump playbook. playbook. But talking about that debate, it was horrible. But what did I do? I was on Fox News, Fox News, F-O-X, and I did a town hall, and I let people know how I really feel and how this country will be so much better once I'm back and I become a dictator and I am able to run this country the way it should be run. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with dictators. I talked to Pudi. I talked to Kim Jong-un. I talked to Erdogan. They are doing it right. They are doing it right, believe me. Next question. Question from Dogbox. Dog box. Sir, my liege. Oh, I like that. Which it's brand of British. adult diapers do you endorse? <laughs> well, there's not one particular diaper, but um, it, it you know it 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 depends on what I eat. See what I just <laughs> did there? Depends on what I eat. That's what I, that's how I answer that question. All right. And by the way, I don't smell. You know, this is unbelievable. These left-wing, radical, socialist, communist, fascistic fish sticks say that I smell. How come all of a sudden this comes out of the blue? Okay? You know, come on. Let's, let's, let's have a little common sense about this. I don't smell. Do I smell? No, I do not smell. And in fact, I smell very good. And I don't even have smelly feet. I don't even have smelly feet. Most men have horribly smelly feet. I do have that one toe that curves this way and looks yellow but other than that i'm in great shape go ahead question from simon jardine simon jardine this is a follow-up from a couple questions ago mm -hmm. sir 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 what exactly is a bone spur hello from scotland oh hello scotland where i have two absolutely fantastic golf courses by the way everyone loves me in scotland they love me in scotland and do you know why because my mother was born in Scotland, uh, McLeod. She was a McLeod, and uh, she was uh, born in Stowaway, Scotland. Stowaway, Scotland, because a lot of the people in that village stowed away on ships so they could come to America. Not my mother, she came here legally, just like Melania came here legally. Legally, but that's my mother, and that's I Scotland. And bone spurs, and from what I understand, a little calcium buildups that you get. They're very painful. And I have a high tolerance for pain. Believe me. Go right ahead. You're never going to believe who's on your live. Who? Who's on my live? We're going back. Way back. Way back. In the way back machine. B-Rad. B-Rad. Oh, my gosh. 
That goes way, way back. Hello, B Rad. This is one of the people on the Tickety Talk who've been following me for a very, very long time. B Rad, who's given me uh, thousands of dollars in roses and things like that. That's fantastic. Do we have a question from B Rad? Do we have a question over here from the uh, YT? Yes, sir. Uh, from Ollie P. Sir, 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 Mr. President, I need some lawyers for an upcoming witch hunt over a speeding ticket. Could you tell me how to get away without paying the lawyers? Well, it's very, very easy. And this is what I found that you do. You hire the lawyer, okay? And they want a retainer. They want a retainer. And you say, I'll pay you once the case is won. Once the case is won. These, these attorneys, they want, they want money up front. It's, it's sad. It's really, really sad. So what you do is you don't pay the retainer, and then if they win or lose, you don't pay them. And you know what? Attorneys hate to, believe this or not, sue their clients. So you're free and clear. There are so many attorneys I haven't paid. It's unbelievable. And most of them know when they work for me, they're not going to get paid. But they can brag that they worked for the president of the United States. That's what's important. Over here. Question from Davin Nicholson. Davin Nicholson. Davin Nicholson. I wonder if it was related to Jack Nicholson. Do you still hug the flag? I still, I, I hugged the flag earlier today. I came over and I hugged the flag. I kissed the flag. I tickled the flag's tassels, which I think is very important. But when you're on stage with two flags, you have to do it to both. You got to come in and go, hug the flag, love the flag, tickle the tassels. It's very, very important that you do that. Uh, that just shows you that I'm, I, I believe in equality. I believe in among flags, not people. But among flags, I believe in equality. I so go right love ahead. Next subscribers. subscribers. Screams asked, sir, sir, do you I think Meatball Ron wears lips? Oh, 100%. This is a great question. Does Meatball Ron wear lips? First off, he's Ron the backstabber, number one. Because you know what? He was failing. He was he he was so he was in negative territory as governor. He was like, sir, 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 President Trump, sir. Tears streaming down his eyes. Sir, sir, sir. Please endorse me, sir. And I and he was on his knees. And I said, Ron, I don't know. You know, it looks pretty bad for you. And he convinced me, I have to admit, he convinced me, but he was a jag. He was a jag. I always say he's a jag off, but he was a jag. He was able to convince me. And he did. And the day I gave him the endorsement, they held the election early and he won. He won by 100%. They had 100 votes, 100% uh, votes for him. And now he's the governor and he's destroying Florida. It's very, very sad. He's, he's giving Disney, the number one employer, a hard time. Let me tell you something. You got to give businesses a break. It's true. Go right ahead. Question from Stephen Jackson. What did you do for J6 celebration last week? Oh, J6. By the way, uh, first thing, today is January 12th, double J6. It's double J6 day. We had so many things. We recorded a new album. Uh, we're working on a musical, a J6 musical. Uh, we have a lot of climbing and things like that. It's going to be very exciting. A lot of these people, we did lose the the uh, QAnon shaman who had a beautiful voice, who had a beautiful voice, but he's running to be a congressman in Arizona. Uh, but we are going to be releasing the, you know how Hamilton became a big hit? I think the J6 musical on Broadway is going to be a very, very big hit. Very big hit. I can't do it every night, but I'm sure we can find someone to play me, uh, someone talented with a great voice. Uh, You'll never get anyone as good looking as me, but I'm sure there's somebody. Go right ahead. Question from Beta Ray. Beta Ray. Beta Ray. I sir, love sir, since you claim each of your properties were worth millions I of dollars, each, subscribers. did you pay the taxes a million dollars each year? No. No, I did not pay the taxes on it because that's for suckers. Listen. You have to say one thing costs this with one group of people and one thing costs this with tax collectors. Because let me tell you something, these counties, these states, you municipalities, they're making a fortune. They're making a fortune off of people like me, people like me. So whatever you do, don't pay your taxes. Don't pay the regular tax. Don't pay taxes. And if everyone doesn't pay the taxes, they'll never get it out of you because they'll never have enough people to extract it from you. Go right ahead. 
Uh, your balls are fine. My balls are fine. That's the name. I like that name. How your many balls times have fine. aliens Love come subscribers. and abducted you until you said aliens Thanks for the super Earth. chat. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This is all of the... I can't show you this. It's top secret. But this is the irrefutable report on aliens. They're here all the time. They're walking among us. Uh, I'm starting to think that maybe they are causing the election interference. There it is. You can't see it. Top secret. But the aliens are here. Um, we are hoping that most of the aliens are MAGA. Uh, we think that a lot of the a lot of the aliens turn out they're a bunch of rednecks. Uh, this are, these aren't the snobby woke aliens that we thought they were. These are the redneck beer loving aliens who love to probe people. Uh, not me. Not me, but a lot of people, they probe them. So hopefully that answers your question. Over here are the uh, white tea. A couple more donations tea. to wow. Legal Funds, sir. Another $10 from Listener. Thank you, Listener. Listener, you're absolutely amazing. Come to Los... Well, come to wherever I am and I'll buy you, <laughs> I'll buy you lunch. I'll buy you. We're in Las Vegas today. That's why I said that. Uh, listener right. said, how much money would someone have to give you to become your VP if you were to win the election? I'd say anyone, anywhere from three to five million, that'll get you the VP spot. And But just bear in mind, you may end up hung. That, you know what I mean? So, you know, that money may not go a long way if you know what I'm talking about. Over Another here. donation from NR for $5. NR, thank you so much for the $5 foot long. Thanks I appreciate that. Chat. I'll be going to uh, Subway and get a sandwich. NR asks, sir, sir, sir. If Nikki sure, Haley sure, sure. gets nominated, will you try to be her VP? Uh, no, I will not be Nikki Haley's VP. By the way, that will never, ever happen. America wanting a woman to be president, an Indian woman who's here illegally. I might add, sure, she was the governor of South Carolina, but they're very loosey-goosey on their things. And I will prove beyond a shadow of a doubt, if she gets the nomination, she does not deserve the nomination. She didn't even know the Civil War was about slavery. Even I know that. Go ahead. Another donation from AU79 for $5. Thank you, AU79, for the $5. They asked, Mr. President, do you even have $370 million to pay the city of New York in your fraud? I'm a billionaire. I have plenty of money, but I have no intention of paying the crooked uh, New York City. Uh, you know, I used to sing this song, start spreading the news. Now I think, don't spread the news. I'm leaving today because I want to get the hell out of New York. It is so corrupt. It's so sad. It, it, you know, I, I'm not going to pay anybody $375 million. Even if I actually owed it to them, they're not going to get it. That's how I operate, and that's why I'm so rich. That's why I'm so rich. I mean, I, I have a lot of people. I've got co all kinds of vendors I don't pay. I certainly am not going to pay I Letitia Peekaboo James any money at all. It's all rigged. It's all made up, and it was a victimless crime. I did nothing wrong, and I'm an innocent man. Go ahead. This comes from C. Ziner. C. Ziner. Will we get to 500 likes? Come on, we only need 45 more likes. Let's get the likes up. Let's get the likes up right out of here. That would be fantastic. That would brighten my day. That would brighten my day because I just finished up in New York, which was totally rigged. You know what the best part about the case of New York? I got to sit next to Alina Haba. Alina Haba, she's in the photo for this uh, press conference. Haba dabba do, haba dabba do. She's mean. She's mean, but she's pretty. Let's go to the tickety talk. Well, you just got a violation for, for hate chat. comments, so please be careful, Mr. President. What did I say? Did they tell me what I said? Just violation for hate. Comments. I love everybody. I love everybody. This is why the tickety talk is so woke. I should probably not even say that. Go right ahead. <laughs> Question from Ken Davis. When dictator for a day, will you strongly bring back clean, beautiful coal and eliminate cancer-causing, bird-killing wind farms? Exactly. We're going to get rid of the wind farms. It's so sad for the birds. It kills all the birds. I think everyone knows how much I love birds. Uh, one of the things I'm going to move for is I have little bird cemeteries at the bottom of these of these windmills. It's so, it's so, and then no one can sleep. No one can sleep, but we're going to drill, baby, drill. We're drilling everywhere. We're going to be drilling in people's backyards. And we're going to be independent again of energy. We're going to do shale, kale, whatever it is. We don't care. We're going to just suck the energy out of it. Go right ahead. K. Midori donated 500 yen. I believe that's yen. 500 yen? Wow. 
And That's said, great. I'm going to put that right in my Chinese bank account. That's going to go right in. The yen's going to go right in. It won't even leave the country. They said, hello, my president. Thank you. Thank you. Is that your question? Nope, that was it. <laughs> That's great. Maybe I'll be president of China too because Xi Jinping, Xi Jinping, he's he's a powerhouse. This guy, he's he lords over one super billion chat. people. People think America's big. Let me tell you, we got three hundred fifty million, maybe, maybe. Uh, they've got one billion people, and he does an absolute job. And he's president for life. He's president for life. Pudi, president for life. Kim Jong Un, president for life. Erdogan, president for life. I should be president for life. Say it with me, everybody. President, president for, for life. life. Everyone loves this idea, even crying Chuck Schumer. Called me the other day and I said, hello, Chuck. He said, I hope you get life. And I thought, wasn't that nice for him to call me and say that? Go right ahead with the next question. This comes from Rainbow Rising. Ooh, Sorry. I like that, Rainbow Rising. Sir, is Biden related I to the bidet toilet? I love subscribers. Uh, I, well, I don't know. I don't know, but that's a very interesting question, and I'm sure Marjorie Taylor Greene has an answer for that right on the top of her tongue. But I will say this about the bidet. The bidet. I traveled a lot when I was president. I travel a lot all the time. But they, these places, these hotels in Europe, they have bidets because they don't want you using paper. And let me tell you something. When that thing hits your nether regions, all of a sudden, you have feelings you've never had before. That warm feeling hitting you from multiple sides. Let me tell you, that thing could turn you to the other side. You put you on the other team. So men, don't use a boudet. Women, I think you're fine. But men, do not use the boudet. It, it, it brings up feelings that you probably never thought you had. So watch out. And he's probably related now that I think about it. We're over here. Uh, TV Daryl. Hey, TV Daryl. Hello, buddy. Sir, will Melania be your last wife? Uh, you know what? You never know because in the second season, I mean, the uh, second administration, weddings always help with the ratings. So I think Melania, we really can't find her, honestly. So we, I get married again. Somebody hot, somebody new, maybe Alina Haba, maybe Alina Haba. I mean, I would like it to be Ivanka, but she's already married. But maybe Alina Haba, then we get incredible weddings. Everyone loves a wedding, and we end like maybe the first year with a wedding. You know, or we do it in the summer. We do it in the summer because it's beautiful. And, uh, or we do it in Mar-a-Lago. But I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get married again. And like I said before earlier, I'm young. I'm young. I'm a young 77-year-old. You know what I mean? You have these guys, and they're with younger women. Younger women make men younger, and I'm going to be the youngest young person who marries a younger person, and people aren't even going to worry about the age difference. Go right ahead. We have another one? Yeah, this is an interesting one from Beta Ray. Beta Ray! Sir, sir, Beta if Ray. you run out of people paying you money, are you going to sing with Rudy J, bad to the bone, at a sports stadium? Well, I think Rudy needs a little help. Rudy needs a little help. But bad to the bone is one of my favorites. Bad to the bone. Bad to the Because everyone knows I'm bad to the bone. I'm bad to the bone. But I think we could... I could probably go, you know, we've broken records at every venue I have played uh, our rallies. Elton John, Lady Gaga, uh, Taylor Swift. We've had incredible numbers. So I could probably put a few songs together, maybe some Broadway songs for the older folks, um, some of these, the new hip songs. Maybe I'll do a rap. Maybe I'll do a rap. And of course, we're always going to end it with, you know, YMCA, which I'm going to do today. In five minutes, we're going to end with YMC, but not yet, but not yet, because I know you guys, you, you love the hold out for that. Go ahead. This comes from Michael Miller. Michael Miller, not Jason Miller, my old campaign manager. Sir, 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 when you say many Please people sirs. say it, who are these people who say that? Well, that's the funny thing. Many, many people always say 
that they say that, and these are the many, many people that are around me. I'm around people all day. And if I have to name every single person who says these things that are obviously true about all of these different things, like windmills giving cancer, many, many people say that. But I can't go through a list of all the people. You know, I'm not going to walk around with a list of every single person who said uh, Joe Biden already passed away and it's AI that's in the White House right now. But many, many people are saying it. And when many, many people are saying something, that has a lot of value. Now, very few, few, few people say anything negative about me, which is incredible. But it's true because I'm so incredible. And when I'm back in office, I will be the best dictator America has ever seen. We are going to put the dick in tater. It's going to be fantastic. Jeez. <laughs> Question at? from Tobias E. Tobias. Tobias. Sir, do you know who put the submarine blueprints into your Mar-a-Lago boxes? I have no idea, but I will say this. I packed those boxes myself, and we were in such a rush. We were in such a rush. I'm like, oh, sir, 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 President Trump, sir, President Biden will be coming in any moment. He's being sworn in. I said, well, listen, I got other things to do. I, I only found out about this two and a half months ago, so I didn't really have enough time to, like, put it all together. So if accidentally some nuclear submarine secrets and some nuclear Iranian plant secrets and some nuclear spy secrets about China got into those boxes. That's an accident. I didn't do it on purpose. You know what I mean? I put in sweaters, photos, clippings. Go right ahead. Another ten dollar donation from listener. Listener, Thank you're. You, listener. Oh my gosh! It's a, it's a, it's a. What do they call that? A plethora of wealth. I uh, love uh, an embarrassment of riches. That's what it's called. Go ahead. Uh, this is a good one. Have you considered having multiple wives? You could also marry Nikki Haley and Marjorie Taylor Greene, and have your three wives mud wrestle in a pay per view event to pay for your legal defense. <laughs> this is a very wow. well thought out That's question. Good idea. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I find none of them attractive, uh, but I, I think. Think, you know, Marjorie, if you're into CrossFit, like those type of women, Marjorie's your gal. If you're into Indian women, and I know some guys are, Nikki's your gal. Who's the other one we were talking about? Who's the other woman? Marjorie Taylor Greene? No, you said Marjorie, Nikki, and who was the third one? I'm assuming your current wife. Sorry. Oh, my current wife, who we never see. Um, here's the thing, though. I <laughs> do believe in chat. polygamy, uh, because that would be big of me, to be in polygamy because <laughs> it takes more men to one man for like four or five women because I've watched sister wives and you would think it would be a lot of fun but it's basically just you know five women giving you a hard time all day because so I think I'm going to stick with one and just keep cheating on each one of them that way they don't have to meet each other other than the time I went to Vail and I took Marla Maples and Ivana ran into Marla on the slopes can you believe that what are the odds of that probably shouldn't have done that one go ahead so we have uh, over 4,700 wow. people on your live. Woo. Thank um, you, Ticket H. So Thank you. Can you remind them to come every Friday? So yes. And Everybody on the Tickety Talk right now, we are here every single Friday. If we're not, that just means I'm on the road. But we are here. We're going to be here till the election, which I'm going to win. But every single Friday. So we're looking for, oh, I just got a hat. Pachir, 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 pachir. I'm all mavericky right now because I just got a hat on the tickety talk. That's what's going on. But if you are on the tickety talk, first of all, make sure you follow. Secondly, go up to the top to the bio. Subscribe to the white T, to the white T. And all of you right now, I know I can see the numbers on the monitor. We're doing great here on the white T. First of all, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Become a member. We've got some special benefits for you. You know, I fly you to Mar-a-Lago for a weekend. Not really. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. But we've got some wonderful benefits for you. But come over from Tickety Talk to YT and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, hit the notification bell. Here we go. Pa-ting, 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 pa-ting. <laughs> there we go. And uh, what do we got? Like one minute before I break into song? Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. So let's do a couple more questions. I want to thank everybody for watching. You guys have been absolutely wonderful. This is one of our best. This is one of our best lives. And by the way, this is our 15th live. This is 15 hours of new content. Go to the, uh, the the YT, okay? Go to the live. You can see all of the lives. You can watch this one, the one from last week, the one the week before that. A lot of people, 
A lot of people forget about the lives, but there's a lot of lives. There's a lot of lives. All right, go ahead. Donation from AU79. Thank you again for $5. Thank you so much for the fiber. I love that. A hunt, no, you know what I mean? I would be nice if it was a hundo, but I'll take five. I'll take five. Go ahead. Do I have a question? They said, can you share the dollar amount that you received from the stimulus package that you signed into law, the trillions and trillions of dollars? I received a lot of money. I don't remember the exact amount, you know what I mean? But I'm a businessman. I'm a businessman with multiple hotels around the country. Um, I didn't pay any of it back because I why should I? Because I'm helping the economy in a lot of these different places. So I don't want to hear it about, oh, you're the president, you got money. Listen, everybody gets money. Why shouldn't I get money? I think it's very important that I get money. And I'm going to use it, too. I'm going to use it for very important things, like coach bags for Alina Haba and the Kate Spade bags for Melania. Melania, she loves the Kate Spade. I don't know why. Go ahead. This comes from Marnie Mo. Money mo. Sir, 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 perhaps for next time you could apply your word skills to the words polygamy and bigamy. Thanks polygamy and bigamy. So polygamy much. and bigamy. I like that. I like that. Polygamy and bigamy. Let's be big. Let's all be big together. I think one of the things I should work on day one that we should reinstate I polygamy. Not for me, but I know a lot of guys. Would, it would make a lot of sense for them. They'd probably be better guys because there'd just be more women in their lives. That's true. That's true. And it works for the Mormons, which I think is tremendous. All right. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. If you missed any of this, go to the live section on YT. Do we have a playback on the tickety talk or is it just no, vapors? Sir, they it's a vapor. Price. Okay. Yeah. Well, on the YT, go to the live if you missed any of this or any of the past ones. You guys are fantastic. You're absolutely amazing. It's just like I always say, a lot of love, a lot of love. All right, let's go. Is it is it time? All right, we, I, I have a 11.15 tea time. Thanks you guys were fantastic. Chat. Don't forget about this guy. Don't forget. All right. Goodbye, everybody. All right, I'll have a cheeseburger. Okay.